Hello and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking. I'm Gary Korb, your host from CigarAdvisor.com. Today we've got a really cool new boutique cigar. It is the Gardening of the Farm Night Watch JJ. This is a Maduro, it's box press. It looks gorgeous. And today I'm joined by one of Famous Smoke Shop's top graphic artists, Kevin Beck. How you doing, Kevin? I'm good. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Kevin's an avid cigar smoker. Uh, he does a lot of the artwork that you'll see in our emails, and uh, he's done, you know, what else you've done? I don't know if you've done catalog, like you just, just about yep. everything, posters. Uh, yep, pretty much everything, things. posters, catalog, uh, website design. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, web design, so if you're at cigaradvisor.com, look at some of the articles that we've done. Uh, the header artwork is just absolutely dynamite. How, how long have you been with the famous smoke shop now? Uh, I've been here just over six years now. Six years now? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I wanted to show you a couple of things that Kevin has done over the years. And actually, this was this is the uh, the first thing Kevin did for us. We asked him to draw a man holding a cigar. And uh, <laughs> this is it. That's about this right. This is his first picture. Yep. And he even signed it. <laughs> So I thought that was uh, very interesting. Uh, he, he did get better <laughs> uh, because if you've seen this, and these, these are things that you can actually download. Uh, he did the acid cigars oh, wheel, yeah. which shows all the acid cigars. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, that was um, a big project. We did it um, to celebrate the acid 20th year right. anniversary. And um, we had realized nobody else um, in, the, you know, in the cigar retail industry really was kind of uh, showcasing their full lineup. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go on and read about the blue line or about the red line or something like that, but we wanted something to kind of show their full uh, offerings right. in that acid line. That's cool. Then he did one other thing before we get to our cigar. I want you to see this because this, this is also downloadable. This is the flavor wheel. This has, I don't know, every flavor in the world. <laughs> it's on Pretty this much. Thing. Right. And um, tell us just a, a few uh, well, I think things it was, about this. This was like a, a big puzzle trying to figure out, um, mm -hmm. you know, what rings we're going to go where, how deep we're going to dive into certain flavors. Right. And um, like I said, it was kind of like piecing together a puzzle. I think we had a list of something like three yeah. three hundred different like tasting notes it's or something. It's unbelievable. I know you and, and Pulo worked on this. And yeah, it, it's really nice. So 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 that's just some of the stuff Kevin does. But if you really want to see some other cool stuff, check out our emails and stuff. All right, so let's get to the cigar because that's what everybody's waiting for. This is the Garden of the Farm. Um, it is uh, made with uh, Aganorsa leaf, which is very hot right now. Um, and uh, this is the JJ. It's named for the dog, one of the dogs on the farm. They have all the gardens of the farms are the dogs that guard the farm at night. And um, uh, just uh, looking at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's like a Cuban press or trunk press. Yeah. Very sharp, very, very narrow. And um, mm, smells smells really nice, kind of kind of barnyardy, you know. You get a it lot of chocolate a, uh, on mine. It looks like a chocolate bar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's got a beautiful cap. Um, came right off there. Let's see how the draw is. Ooh, the draw is good. You know, what? I am getting a little bit of a chocolatey taste from this cigar. Yeah, it's really. So interesting. I said you said candy bar, and I think mm -hmm. that's to me almost <laughs> a, almost what it smells like. Right now, have you have you had one of these already? I did. You did. I okay. did. So I you had have them a little last bit week. of a. I, I have not had this yet, so so we'll see how it goes. Now, also, I think the foot looks like the foot has been flagged a little bit, right? There's, um, yeah, it's not quite closed. It's yeah. almost like uh, half halfway closed yeah. off. So let's see how it lights up. So uh, you're a pretty avid smoker, as I said. Um, what kind of cigars do you usually like? Uh, I'm normally a uh, medium to full smoker. Um, I like uh, Maduros usually a lot. I like okay. uh, Broadleaf. I like especially mm -hmm. Connecticut Broadleafs mm -hmm. a lot. Um, that's kind of where I sit. Um, I tend to lean 
towards Nicaraguans, but okay. um, I enjoy everything, and uh, I'm always over asking you guys for <laughs> recommendations and for you know suggestions. So uh, I, I, I'm willing to try anything. Basically, okay. if somebody recommends it, especially if it's a smoker that I know, that's cool. Um, somebody that I know is usually right. recommended good stuff. Um, I'm willing to try anything. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, excellent. All right, well, this is um, really nice so far. I'm getting a like a uh, kind of a leathery, chocolatey note. That's what I, uh, lots of leather, really? mm -hmm. chocolate, and um, it's like a, not a coffee, but like an espresso. Okay. You know, like a deeper, deeper kind of coffee flavor. Nice, nice, nice volume of smoke. It's very creamy, and um, I'm liking it. It's a nice size too. It's not too large. Yeah. It's, it's right, right in that nice mm -hmm. uh, robusto yeah, size. Five and a half by fifty. And I also I like box pressing. And oh, I just got yeah. a little uh, shot of pepper. <laughs> ooh. So so far so good. And we're going to see how we do with the Guardian of the Farm Night Watch JJ when we get into the first act. Okay, it's time for Act One. I'm here with Kevin Beck from Famous Smoke Shop's graphic department. He's one of our lead graphic artists. And we are smoking the Gardening of the Farm Night Watch, JJ. And um, we're about uh, an inch in, you know, with some starting to get some nice flavors out of it. We're getting some earth, some pepper, even a little a note of cocoa at this point. What are you getting? Uh, same thing, I'm getting uh, cocoa, mm -hmm. leather, a um, little bit of chocolate, yeah in in the back of my mouth um and every once in a while i'm getting like either like a pepper or like a barner it just mm -hmm. like jumps up and is just like a little pop yeah yeah it just like every now and then you know it's, it's like kind of going it's real nice then a little wake up call from the pepper yeah you know? <laughs> so let's uh talk a little bit about the cigar it is the guardian of the farm night watch jj uh, all of the cigars are named for the uh agonor Salif farms dogs cigar dogs um the wrapper is a Nicaraguan Jalapa Corojo Maduro, but it's shade grown, which is very interesting because usually you don't shade grow, uh, shade grow um, Maduro wrapper, but uh, they found a way to do it in Nicaragua and it's apparently becoming very popular shade growing. Also, the binder is Jalapa Corojo and the filler is Corojo and Criollo from Esteli and Jalapa. There's a lot of Jalapa in here and I like Jalapa tobacco because it's it's very similar to, um, in, in character to like Cuban tobacco because of the loamy soil in Jalapa. And it's made at Agonorsa Leaf in Esteli. And actually the original Guardian of the Farm came out in 2016. It was a collaborative effort between uh, Max, I'm sorry, yeah, Max Fernandez, who's head of Agonorsa Leaf, and Kyle Gellis of Warped Cigars. It was the Warped Guardian of the Farm. Uh, this one is a solo effort just by uh, Max Fernandez. Uh, that one had a Nicaraguan Corojo wrapper. I believe it was lighter, it was more of a natural wrapper. Um, and this of course is Maduro and it's absolutely beautiful. It has, uh, it's, it's, it's not that toothy. It's, it's not that oily smooth. either. It, no, it's, it has kind of a matte finish to yeah. it. And um, it's said to be a little more intense than the um, Gardening of the farm that Kyle Gellis did. I definitely did. think it's fuller in flavor. You do, than, okay. Than that. Yeah. And um, it comes in 25 count uh, boxes. This beautiful box here. Um, this is for the JJ, which is five and a half by 50. There's also the Rambo, which is a four and a half by 48. It's like a Rothschild or Petite Corona. Uh, the Campion, which is a six by 52, and it has, well, I guess, what they call it. They call it a 901 or 109. Uh, cap, it's or a marble head. It's kind of right. You know, right. It's, it's not pointy. And then there's the Orpheus, which is six by forty-four. So there's no big sizes in this. It's, they're all really nice dimensions, and um, that's pretty much it for the cigar um, in terms of the uh, history and what we are, we're smoking here. But I really, if you if you love Nicaraguan tobacco, this is the way to go. This is a puro all the way through. And it's smoking beautifully. The ash looks great. Yeah. And uh, let's see what we got now. And I tell you what, wow. too. I cannot keep 
enough Aganorsa stuff in my <laughs> humidor. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I so popular. Everything that they're doing right now is home run for me. I know it's unbelievable. We we had a we had the um, HVC uh, A a couple weeks ago with Jared, and uh, that's got Aganorsa tobacco, in it. and and th that was that was just absolutely fantastic. Um, this is very good too. Uh, would you normally smoke this in the morning? It's about nine o'clock in the morning now. Uh, um, doing this, but probably not. Um, I don't think it's too strong. Uh, like I, I don't think you'd necessarily have to have like a breakfast or something like that before you would would have it. Um, I don't think it's strong in terms of. Mm -hmm. a, in sh I don't think its strength is very strong. No, it's not. Like but it's full. definitely full flavored. Yes, definitely. Um, a lot going on in here. No, I'm normally a I'm normally an after lunch smoker anyway. Mm -hmm. so I don't typically smoke in the morning, um, but I would definitely have this in the morning. There's very few. Really. Um, yeah, there's very okay. few cigars that I that I would stray away from if mm -hmm. I was going to have something in the morning. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'll tell you, it's going great with the coffee. And how do you like your coffee? Black. Oh, you do? Black coffee, Okay, yep. I, I have uh, light cream, and you know what I'm putting in my coffee now? Maple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> I love That's it. That's good. It's it a, tastes it's great. Great idea, especially yeah. for the fall season, for the autumn. Yeah, but I mean, it just there's something about the maple syrup that gives the coffee just like this nice body and sweetness to it that I, that I like. I don't like it too sweet, though. I'm trying to get off the sugar, you know, a little bit. But um, it's going great with this. And I could see this after dinner with... Uh, Probably a good whiskey or bourbon. Um, so let's see. Have you have you retrohaled this yet? No. I gave it a little retrohale, and I tell you, it was smooth. It wasn't peppery. It was uh, creamy. And uh, so far, so good. Well, it didn't make me cough, so. Okay. That's usually a <laughs> sign. Normally, a lot of uh, stronger, more peppery cigars. Um, will get me coughing on a retro hail, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a little pepper on the finish. Also, I, I, um, I also have been doing something that um, I think is very important, and that's I'm, I'm trying to take more time between puffs. You know, a cigar will last uh, at least five minutes. It'll stay lit for five minutes. That's a decent amount of time. And I think that when you let the cigar cool, uh, it just those those flavors are more are just they seem to be you know better preserved. I yeah. Don't know. What What do you think? Um, Am I, I wrong? I don't I, know. I no. I, I'm a horribly slow smoker. That's good. So though. I tr <laughs> I I try to be conscious of just uh, kind of a pace. Try to keep more of a mm -hmm. of a pace and try not to go um, quick and then let it sit too long. So right. I try to stay on pace and it's often difficult smoking when we're working because you put it down you get in the middle of something and. Right. Forget about it for a little while. So I try to just have a good pace, like a runner pace kind of thing. Right. I, I think that's a really good attitude, and I think you're going to get a lot more out of your cigar. All right. Well, Act 1 seems to be a, a hit, and um, let's see what happens in Act 2. All right. We are in Act 2 with the Guardian of the Farm Night Watch, JJ, and it's rolling along beautifully, and um, I'm really enjoying it. I was rounded out. It's well balanced. Uh, what are you getting at this point? Uh, I'm getting similar notes. It's very creamy now, though. Yes. And the pepper has almost disappeared. Mm -hmm. It's gone. Yeah, it's not even on the finish anymore for me. It's yeah. just nice, you know, like getting kind of like an espresso yeah. uh, finish. Yep. Yeah, that's been there uh, almost the entire time, a little mm -hmm. bit uh, more in the background towards the beginning. Um, and I think the, the box press, too, I think helps it smoke a little cooler as well. Oh yeah, and also it, it makes it smoke longer. I uh, I think that you know you, it, when you box press it, especially like this, um, which is you know more on the flatter side, all that air comes out of it, and everything's nicely packed. And uh, what I like about it is it's just the draw is just perfect. It's just the right amount of pull on it. It's not too easy. It's not you know too stiff, and um, no relates. No. No, not, not at all. It's burning beautifully, and the ashes are nice and firm, and they're long. You've got some, some nice ashes mm -hmm. in there. Um, would you say this was complex, the cigar? I would say it's complex. I wouldn't say that it's overly complex, though. Mm -hmm. In what way? In other words, uh, I think it's still very approachable for, mm -hmm. for people that aren't uh, veteran smokers. 
Okay. Um, so I think it's a, I think it's a very approachable complex cigar that it's not overly nuanced. Mm. In other words, I'm not I'm not uh, searching and trying to figure out mm -hmm. the entire time what I'm right. what I'm tasting. I'm not getting um, dozens of different flavors. Um, you know, there's four or five of them that are consistently there or have been, you mm -hmm. know, four or five consistently at a time. Right. I'm getting um, still a little bit of earth, which which is natural with Nicaraguan tobacco, and I think I think the use of you know, and Corojo tends to be a little sweet naturally, and then you have the Jalapa Corojo, and there's a lot of Jalapa in here, and I'm glad that they use that in here uh, because uh, the wrapper is just absolutely. You know what? It's interesting. I just realized this. You know, I tend to like sweeter cigars. It's it's not really that sweet. It's not, and I thought the same thing when I smoked it that. Uh, I had an impression that it was going to be when when it first kind of started up and I was getting all that chocolate and espresso. Yeah, me too. I thought that it was going to be sweet mm -hmm. and it's like it's there but it's mm -hmm. not it's not dominant at all. No, it's more like uh, cocoa, cocoa powder, you know, it's cocoa is not sweet. It has kind of a, you know, a bitter almost a bitterness to it. Yeah. And and this this cigar is very much like that and I'm really enjoying it for that. Um, so you know, when you, when you have a cigar, say after dinner or whatever, do you, do you usually pair it with something like some liquor or to stay with coffee. What do, what do you like? Um, it depends. If we are um, out, yeah, I'd usually get um, a bourbon. Okay. Um, maybe rum. Um, yeah, rum. I, I really like rum. <laughs> I'd normally, uh, uh, after dinner drink, I'd normally get a bourbon. A bourbon. Um, if it was, um, you know, not a, I don't want to say an occasion, but not. Uh, and an evening out, I would probably just have a, a beer, craft beer. Really? Yeah. Do you like craft beer? Uh, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really a beer guy. What What do you, what do you like? Um, what would you pair with this? Uh, what would I pair with this? You know, um, IPA or something. Like I that? would. I don't know anything about. No. Beer. What I uh, I've gotten steered less towards the craft and going back towards imports more now. So, really? um, European beers. So mm -hmm. I would probably actually have like um, a Guinness extra with this, mm -hmm. not the creamy Guinness, the, the extra drought. Okay. You know, so it's a little bit uh, drier, but mm -hmm. dark porter right. beer. I had Guinness once uh, when I was uh, on my honeymoon. We, had, we were on this cruise and uh, so windjammer cruise, they called it. It was a sailing ship and they, they would have things for us to do. And one of them was like, it was like a drinking contest and it was Guinness. Mm. And you had to down like the whole bottle. And I was like, oh, uh. I just couldn't take it. So we lost. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, I could see definitely this with a rum and I would probably go with a sweeter rum just to kind of make up for some of the sweetness in here. Yeah. You know, uh, maybe a little Fleur de Cagna or um, uh, Zafra, something like that. Um, do you have a particular bourbon that you like? Um, uh, I like Bullet. A bullet um, that's very popular. I like yeah. uh, Makers. Mm. Um, I'm not uh, too far into the um, boutique bourbons yeah. or the small batches or the um, you know limiteds mm -hmm. or anything else like that. Um, I'm fine as long as it's um, as long as it's a good good company. Cool. You know. So when did you realize you wanted to be an artist? Uh, very early on. Um, I don't know. I it was uh, by the time I had figured out that you could do it for a living was probably middle school. Um, okay. You know, I always liked drawing. I always took um, art, I got art mm -hmm. books and taught myself how to how to do stuff. Yeah, my son did that. Yeah. Just learned online. Everything you learn everything online now. My well, wow. other son learned how to play guitar online. <laughs> yeah. I, guess <laughs> I wish we had online when I was younger. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so so who would the cigar be for? Um, well, like I said earlier, um, I think that um, definitely uh, veteran cigar smokers would like this, but I, I think it's very approachable. So I think that um, even if somebody is newer to cigars, I, right. I wouldn't necessarily give it to a new smoker or somebody who's yeah. kind of just getting started. I agree. But somebody that's been smoking even for a couple months or something mm -hmm. like that, I think it's a real great approach to uh, more complex cigars than maybe than they're starting out with. Absolutely. I would say to someone who was just getting into it, I'd say if, if you want to try a Nicaraguan puro, you want to know what Nicaraguan tobacco really tastes like, this is a great place to start yeah. because Aganorsa does a phenomenal job. Uh, all the workers are from Cuba. They know their stuff and um, they've just been doing a lot of experimentation, hybrid, I mean, they're, just, they're into everything. It's just, just amazing. Um, 
so I'm really enjoying it a lot too. And it's just, I just want to like kick back, you know, and just relax and smoke it like this. <laughs> it's really, really enjoyable. They did a great job on this. I think that what we ought to do is enjoy it a little bit more and then we'll see what happens in act three. Okay, we're in Act 3 with the Guardian of the Farm Night Watch, JJ, and with Kevin Beck, one of our famous smoke graphic artists. And I'll tell you, this has just been a dream. You know, it's really been great. What Love this. You? Love this cigar. Love this cigar. Um, it's a very easy smoking cigar, in my opinion, as well. And I'll tell you, the ash is great. Look at that ash. It's just every ash has been yeah. really firm and um, the nice and gray. And Still got a nice easy draw all the way down. Absolutely, and I'm getting, I'm getting um, like a kind of creamy cocoa flavor for the most part, and maybe a little espresso in there too. You know, a little little bit of coffee. Um, just really, really delicious. Yeah, it's really rounded out. I think um, the flavors have settled. Yeah, um, now I'm getting some sweetness too in this, in this third act here. You know, it's uh, a little more sweetness coming through. Uh, but it's not overly sweet. It's more like a dark chocolate, like a bittersweet. But I'm really digging it. Yeah, I mean, I love this cigar. And no, I would definitely recommend this uh, to anyone, to any smokers. So you would say it's humidor worthy. Definitely. Yes. And you get a box of 25, too. And you don't normally get that anymore, you know, which I like. The other sizes that you were mentioning earlier mm -hmm. are all, um, I usually like, um, Sometimes I'll have Toros, but I'm mm -hmm. usually Robusto or, or smaller as far as ring gauge. Really? Coronas, yeah, Bonds okay. Tails. So I, I'm curious to try the other sizes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the love the box press. Yeah, and I like the five Absolutely and a half by love 50 because you get that little extra half inch. Yeah, the um, the Campion, which is the one with the uh, Condi 109 marble head, um, that is a six by 52. I like to try that. That looks like nice to bend. And I like I like a 52, 54 ring. Yeah. You know? But this has just really been delicious. Uh, even, even here in the morning, we're just, re just really enjoying the hell out of this thing. And um, Max uh, really did a beautiful job. And, uh, and if, you know, I think, I think it'd be fair to compare this to the one that came out a couple of years ago with, uh, you know, uh, Kyle Gellis. Yeah. And if you want to compare the two, with the two different type of Corojos, the Maduro, and then the natural. And the Corojo wrapper is just absolutely delicious. It just. And even the retro hails are creamy. They're smooth. They're not peppery. You know, you usually get a lot of pepper. I'm not getting that much flavor. Do you get, do you get more flavor out of retro hail? Um, uh, do you get anything out of it? I usually get something that I hadn't picked up on okay or something comes through a little a little bit stronger yeah this is just really really nice uh, so I would really recommend this to someone who likes a, a full flavored cigar it's not I don't know would you say it was full bodied it's, I guess it is full body I mean, to me it's right right at that edge yeah between yeah, medium it, and full yeah it's just kind of on the border of you know like full but it, it's just, everything's just so well balanced you know and uh, I'll tell you, I'd like, I think I'd like to have another one when we're done with this. <laughs> Compliments to Max Fernandez and the people at uh, Agonorsa and of course the, uh, the dogs. And the JJ. Yeah. Yes, the dogs that guard the farm. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're stars now. <laughs> so anyway. No, this, this, might, this might be, and I've, I think I've had everything in Agonorsa's main core line. As I yeah. said, I'm a, I'm a big fan yeah, me too. of everything they're putting out now, whether it's under their, mm -hmm. their own brand or the other brands that are right. doing business with their, with their tobacco. Mm -hmm. This might be my favorite in their lineup really? so far. Yeah. Yeah, I like, the, uh, I like the Miami and the Maduro too. But, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is really kind of, I would say this is a good cigar for a cigar smoker who just wants to have an enjoyable, full flavored smoke. You don't want to think about it too much. Just let the cigar do its thing, you know? And uh, it's really, really a treat. And you know, you can buy the Guardian of the Farm Nightwatch cigars at famous-smoke.com. And you can also follow Cigar Advisor at cigaradvisor.com. And we'd like you to like us <laughs> at uh, Facebook and Instagram 
And be sure to also like us and follow us on YouTube. And mm -hmm. if you uh, click on the little bell on YouTube, you'll get notifications for things like this, this hashtag now smoking and our cigar reviews and um, all the great stuff we do, Cigar Advisor. So, um, Kevin, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Appreciate it was it. really great. I'm, you know, you're a pretty avid cigar smoker. Uh -huh. Have a nice watch, too. Well, Look thank at that you. watch. <laughs> so, anyhow, thanks for joining us today on Hashtag Now Smoking. I'm Gary Korb with Kevin Beck, and we will see you next time. Happy smokes. <laughs>